Uh, so in this video we're jumping into algebra here. Uh, now this is where people get a little bit scared, but uh, algebra is really nothing to worry about. Really we're just uh, putting letters where numbers used to be. Uh, and the first section here is called substitution, and this is something that you'll be very, very familiar with. Uh, I'm just going to try to formalize it a little bit so so that no matter what sort of substitution we're doing, we'll, we'll always get the right answer, because sometimes we can get a bit confused when it comes to this stuff. Okay, so first of all, the sort of question you might run into will say this. It'll use this word, evaluate. Uh, that just means find the answer. So evaluate, um, let's make up a question here. Uh, 3x plus, oops, try that again. 3x plus 5 when x equals 2. Okay, so all that's saying is uh, here's a, a formula, 3x plus 5 sub 2 into it, put 2 in where x is. Now uh, I know that a lot of you are just going to jump straight into this, but I really want you to hear this next bit carefully. When you substitute a number, don't just put the number straight in, but put the number in in brackets. Uh, so the way that I would sub this in is to say 3, and then I see the x, so that means I need to put 2 in. So put the 2 in, but put the 2 in in brackets, like that. So wherever you see x, put a bracket, put the number you're supposed to put in, and then close up the bracket, plus 5. Now that means um, 3 bracket 2, that means 3 times 2, that means there's a little time sign in there. 3 times 2 is going to be 6, so 6 plus 5, and we've solved it. We've evaluated 3x plus 5 when x equals 2, we subbed in 2, and we ended up with 11. Uh, so pretty straightforward, uh, but there are some dangers that you'll run into, which I'm going to run through. Okay, so here's a second question here. Uh, now evaluate 2a minus 5b when a equals negative 4 and b equals negative 3. Now careful when you jump into this. You can see there's a negative sign here. You can see that there's two letters this time, an a and a b. And you can see that A and B are both negatives. So things start getting quite confusing when we start dealing with these negatives. But again, as long as you follow that rule of putting brackets in, uh, you shouldn't have too much trouble. So let's take a look. 2, and we're going to replace the A with whatever A is, but in brackets. 2 times negative 4 minus 5 times uh, negative 3. Now the beauty of putting all of that in brackets is you could jump straight to typing that into your calculator exactly as it is and your calculator would spit out the correct answer. Uh, I'm going to do it step by step though so you can see what's happening. That's 2 times negative 4. Now if you put that into your calculator you'll get negative 8. And then this is minus 5 times minus 3. Minus 5 times minus 3 which is going to be positive 15. Okay, you can type that into your calculator if you like. Uh, minus 8 plus 15, that's going to be 7. Uh, don't be scared to use your calculator on these. Uh, the negatives and the positives can get very confusing, and we have our calculators for a reason. Okay, and finally, I'll just do one more here. Again, I'm trying to put negatives all over the place to make this as difficult as possible, but if you follow my rule of when you substitute things, you substitute them in brackets. You really can't go too far wrong. So let's take a look. Uh, it's going to be negative 3. Now here's our x, and we can see that x is negative 6. So open a bracket, put negative 6 in the bracket, close it up, and it's squared. Plus 2, and there's a y, and there's a negative 4. So open a bracket and put the negative 4 in there. Now again, you can type that directly into your calculator, and your calculator will give you the answer. With the brackets and everything, make sure you do everything in the right order. Your, bracket, your calculator will spit out the correct answer straight away. Uh, I'm going to do this, though, the long way around. You can decide to do it this way or not. Make sure you do type it into your calculator like that, see if you get the right answer. Okay, um, you should probably remember your bomb dash which means that you need to do brackets first and then the, the order or the index and then multiplication or division and then addition and subtraction. So the first thing I need to do is the, is the power bit here. 
I need to do the negative 6 squared. Now negative 6 squared is going to be 36. So it's going to be negative 3 times negative 6 squared, which is negative 6 times negative 6, which is positive 36. And while I'm doing that, I can also do this. It's positive 2 times negative 4. Which a positive times a negative is going to make a negative. So that's going to be negative 8. So now we have negative 3 times 36. Uh, that's going to be, let's try doing that in our heads. Uh, don't do that in your head. Um, 90 plus 18, it's going to be 108. It's going to be negative 108 minus 8, which is going to be negative 116. Okay, so that's algebra uh, and substitution. As long as you follow that very, very simple rule of subbing in things with brackets, you'll be able to type everything directly into your calculator, and you really shouldn't go too far wrong with this stuff. Uh, make sure you practice, practice, practice. It is more difficult than it looks.